Look, in life, there's a lot of habits that you put into your own life that you practice on the daily that you don't realize they really do affect your mood. They affect your mental health and a lot of times put you in this unhappy state that you don't want to be in today, boys. These are five daily habits so many men are doing. I want you to stop. Number one, pornography. Look, the biggest issue with porn is the mental toll it takes on your life. And look, you're not alone. You're, th the feeling that you feel inside is not just you. This has been scientifically studied that excessive use of porn leads to feeling of loneliness, of anxiety, of depression, of guilt. And then if that's not enough, porn has also been studied and realized that it's just as addictive as drugs are, making it a behavior addiction that's hard to break. So again, you are not alone and the only way to cut yourself off is you. You need to actually make the decision that you want to cut off and take it day by day. Don't just say, I'm cutting off porn. No, no, no. Say, you know what? I'm not watching porn today. And then do it again the next day. And then do it again the next day. After about a month of doing so, you're going to have a lot more self-control. Number two your food. Look, binge eating and indulging in fast food or heavily processed sugary food has the same effect on your brain as drugs do. Similar to porn, there's been studies that talk about binge eating having a similar effect as well. It's going to give you that instant gratification in two ways. One, it's fast food, so you don't have to wait for it, you don't have to cook for it, boom, instant. And then on top of that, for a lot of people, it tastes good. So now you start to overindulge because you love that good feeling and that's when you start the weight gain. Boys, like you got to understand, you can get those attributes of food being fast that you don't have to overly cook and it tastes good without actually indulging in the bad stuff or binge eating. For example, our sponsor Factor, which is now owned by HelloFresh. I've talked to you guys about HelloFresh before. Well, Factor is, in my opinion, better for dudes that just, they don't want to spend time in the kitchen. You don't want to spend time waiting. They meet your nutritional goals by delivering fresh chef cooked food straight to your door you don't have to cook that's never frozen and it's ready in two minutes the best part with this is that they also help you with your nutritional goals so on top of you being able to choose the meals the 27 meals that change every week there's 33 plus different add-on options that you can also add that you get to choose you can allow factors to auto choose for you depending on your preferences this is the easiest way for us dudes the dudes that are young that you don't want to be spending time in the kitchen or or you just want stuff instant. We're in a world where instant gratification really fuels us. Well, this is what this gives you, except it's actually healthy. And if that's not enough, each individual meal comes out ridiculously affordable, but I'm going to hook you up. If you go to go.factor75.com slash plans and you use code TMF120, you're going to get $120 off your first five-week plan. Did you just hear that, bro? Again, the link's going to be down below. Go.factor75.com slash plans. Use that special code TMF120. You'll see it on screen. That's going to get you $120 off your first five weeks, making those first meals ridiculously affordable. If I were you, bro, just take action. Number three, a toxic relationship. Look, a toxic relationship, it's all consuming. I actually just dropped the video talking about how do you know if she is toxic. But again, without even having to watch that video, one quick and easy way to know if that person you're dealing with, that you're in a relationship with, is toxic, is making you unhappy, gauge your energy levels. If you always feel drained, every time you deal with her or that person, you just always feel drained, you feel exhausted, this person is toxic for you and is probably making you unhappy. Number four, you constantly compare yourself to others. And this is just, this is a symptom of social media. Social media is amazing. It's probably one of the greatest things that's happened to us as a society. However, it has its downfalls. And one of the biggest ones is that constant comparison between yourself and other people. And the interesting thing is that this correlation has been studied. For example, the Happiness Research Institute found that those people that stayed off of Facebook for one week were happy and had more appreciation for their life. They also reported richer social in-person interactions. The reason is most of you are just seeing the perfect lives of other people. They don't post when they're sad or they're crying or the problems that they're going for. They only post their vacations and the fun stuff that they do. And then when you look at your life, you're thinking, man, my life sucks, which ultimately rolls us on to number five, doing nothing. Laziness, it's, it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. You're probably thinking, man, like, what harm could be done to myself by just doing nothing at all? You got to understand that fulfillment for us humans comes from accomplishing tasks. Both mentally and physically, our body and brain were never just meant or designed to just sit there and binge watch Netflix all day. This is exactly why when you ace an exam, you go to the gym, you're eating right, go out with friends, or you work on a passion project, 
you immediately feel motivated. You feel this sense of accomplishment. It feels amazing. You feel good about yourself. Well, the exact opposite happens when you're lazy and you do nothing. You feel guilty. You feel unhappy because your brain and your body are made to accomplish tasks. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are five things that you're doing every day that are making you unhappy. That's it for me today. See you next time.